Well, today is Good Friday, and I wanted to share just a few devotional thoughts. I'm going to be reading the text from Luke chapter 23, the text of what happened on that very first Good Friday. This is Luke chapter 23, and it's starting in verse 33. When they came to the place called the skull, there they crucified him. And the criminals, one on the right and the other on the left. But Jesus was saying, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they're doing. And they cast lots, dividing up his garments among them. And the people stood by looking on, and even the rulers were sneering at him, saying he saved others, let him save himself if this is the Christ of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up to him, offering sour wine, saying, If you're the king of the Jews, save yourself. Now there was also an inscription above him, This is the king of the Jews. And one of the criminals who were hanging there was hurling abuse at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other answered, rebuking him, said, Do you not even fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? For if indeed we are suffering justly for what we are receiving, but this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said to him, truly, I say to you today, you will be with me in paradise. And it was about the sixth hour and darkness fell over the whole land until the ninth hour, because the sun was obscured and the veil of the temple was torn in two. And Jesus, crying out with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. You know, there doesn't seem to be a lot of good about that story. But I want to share just a few thoughts today about what is good about Good Friday. First thing that's good about Good Friday is it shows us how much God loves us. I mean, can you imagine just how much love you'd have to have for someone to send your child to take punishment in their place, especially someone you didn't know? Well, that's exactly what God did. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believed in him would not perish but have eternal life. And the word gave there in John 3.16, it means sent. God sent his Son. When you see the cross, when you think of Good Friday and you ask what's good about Good Friday, Good Friday shows us that Jesus willingly left heaven for that. For you. And you can't help but to see how much God loves us. I think the second thing or one another thing that's good about Good Friday is it shows us the lengths that God will go to have a relationship with us. We've all had this experience in life and we will have it until the day we cross over into eternity that we've been hurt or disappointed by someone in our lives. And when someone hurts us, we, we can forgive them. We should forgive them. That's really no question. But it really is up to them to initiate anything that might lead to reconciliation, right? But as we see the cross and we see Jesus hanging there, especially the words he spoke here, Father, forgive them. It's a stark reminder that God didn't wait for us to make the first move. He made it for us. You see, we've all sinned. The Bible says that that's true, and you and I know it's true. Just a quick scan of the news every day, and you really can't deny the existence of sin in this world. It's a disease that every one of us has. There's no pill to cure it, and there's no vaccination to prevent it. And it's sin that keeps us out of heaven. And listen, God could have waited for us to make the first move, but he didn't. The Bible says that while we were yet sinners, Jesus went to the cross. God didn't wait for you to get your act together. 2,000 years before you were even born, Jesus left the comfort of heaven, came to this earth, went to the cross, and died for you. Good Friday shows us how far God will go to make a relationship with us possible. And then the third thing I just want to share today, what is good about Good Friday, it shows us that the cost of sin has been paid. 
few years ago, a friend of mine told this story. He said his son came home one day with a D on a math test. And he questioned his son about it because he knew his son could do better. And his son said this, but dad, mine wasn't the worst score in the class. One kid got an F. And my friend said, really? Is the worst student in your class really your standard? But you know, that's the standard that many have regarding sin. I've never killed anybody, they'll say. I've never committed robbery. And besides, I'm, I'm better than the next guy. But from God's perspective, all sin has the same cost. The wages of sin is death. That's what the Bible says. That's both physical death and spiritual death, eternal separation from God. But on the cross, Jesus cried out, it is finished. You know what that meant? That no further payment was needed, not by you, not by me, not by anyone. The debt has been paid. Good Friday is good because it shows us that the cost of sin has been paid. Now, because Jesus paid for our sin on Good Friday, he offers us God's forgiveness as a gift. When you buy someone a gift, you wrap it, make it beautiful, set it in front of them, but they have a choice. They can accept it or they can reject it. Now, if they don't accept the gift, they don't get the benefit. They don't get the blessing of having it in their lives. God's gift of forgiveness is exactly the same. It's always available for you and I purchased free and clear. And all you need to do is accept it and you can have your sins forgiven and be saved for all of eternity. Now, if you've never done that, but would like to, I'm going to lead us in a very short prayer. There's nothing magical about this prayer, nothing magical about the words, but listen, if you're sincere, and you're honest, and you really mean business with God, he'll hear it, and he'll respond to this prayer. Now, if you want to trust Jesus as your Savior, you just pray this right along with me. Dear Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner, and I know that there's nothing I can do about that. I know that my sin will keep me from heaven and eternity with you. I know that Jesus died on a cross. I accept that. I believe that. And I believe that his sin paid the price. His, his death paid the price for my sin. And Jesus, I thank you for that. And I pray right now that you would save me, forgive me. Thank you, Jesus, for your gift of salvation. Thank you for your gift of forgiveness. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, it really is that simple. And if you prayed that prayer, or you would like to talk to someone some more about making Jesus your Savior, would you contact me, pastor at avianobaptist.church? And listen, if you don't have somewhere to worship on Easter Sunday, we invite you to join us at Aviano Baptist, either at 915 or 1045. Visit our website, avianobaptist.church, to find the link so that you can sign up for your seats. Happy Good Friday to you, and praise God, Resurrection Sunday is coming.